Today on Can You Build It? We're going to build a simple coat hanger. This has a place to hang your coat and a screw hole for mounting it into the wall. Let's get started. I'm going to build the body of, of the coat hook using a box and a round roof. I want to rotate the round roof 90 degrees. I can do that by clicking on the rotate. Something that's good to know is that while you're inside of the circle with your cursor, your part will click evenly. When you're outside, you have much more control, but it's a little tougher, more difficult to be accurate. All right, now that those are lined up, I'm going to use my line tool, select both my round roof and my cube, click the align tool, and align them to be the same height. To do that, I clicked one of the ones along the vertical axis. Let me undo that and show that in this case, it doesn't really matter which one I click because they're both going to go to that height. I can switch to a top view to allow me to reposition the round roof. I'm going to group these together because they are the same size already. I'm happy with that. I'm going to reduce their thickness and I'm going to increase its length. As you can see, the slope has increased. Let me show you real quick what it would look like if we did this in a slightly different order. If instead I increase the length and then joined the group before shrinking, we have a different uh, tightness of the curve on the top. I think I like the look of this one, so I'm going to keep this one. It's important to remember that the order that you combine shapes and then transform them may have an effect on the final result. To make the hook, I'm going to drag a cylinder out. This cylinder is much too large in the side to side. So I'm going to bring it down a little bit and then make it a little bit taller. That looks pretty good, but I want it to be at an angle so my coat will stay on a little bit better. I can use that, do that by clicking the rotate and giving it just a little bit of turn. That looks nice. I've got some problems though. I've got the hook sticking out on the bottom and on the back side. I can fix one easy enough. I'm going to go to my top view and move it up a little bit. That's fixed the bottom. However, for this view, I can try to move it up but depending on my angle, it might break the surface. In this case, I want to trim the bottom without affecting this red block. If I drag out a whole brush, ooh, where did that go? If I drag out a whole brush, There it is. And lower it. It looks like it's going to cut into the my red block. But watch this. I'm I'm going to select my hole and I'm going to select the hook and I'm going to group them. Only items that are grouped together will be affected by the hole. The red block is unchanged. 
and now my hook doesn't protrude through. Let's make sure that my hook is centered. It looks pretty good, but that could just be luck. Let's say it's over here. I can drag select both my hook and the backing, go up to align, and use that align tool to make it perfect. The last thing I need to do is to make a hole to put a screw through so it'll stay to my wall. I'm going to use a cylinder hole for this. I could also use a cylinder and in its properties change it to be a hole. I'm going to make it a bit smaller. I've measured my screw. They are about 10 millimeters across or one centimeter. I'm going to position it. I want to automatically align it to make sure it's in the center. Right now, definitely not there. If I align this and the red backing, it might uncenter my hook. I'm going to do them all at once. I'm going to select them all, I'm going to align them all, and I'm going to click the middle tab. There we go. Now, I can group, which will do two things at the same time. It will cut this hole through the red block and combine the hook with the backing. Let's do that now. There we go. To make it look a bit more like a hook, I'm going to rotate it just for ease of viewing. But for printing, this would print much easier flat. 